the first thing I think we need to talk about, we'll talk about this with Tanner Forschler too, uh, the mustache. <laughs> yeah. oh, man. He says, you've got one of the best on the team. What's the story behind your mustache and for the whole team? I mean, I, th I didn't really grow it out in the beginning of the year. Uh, Coach kind of has a clean shaven rule, so uh -huh. I was clean shaven for a little bit, but I just wasn't really liking it too much, so I started growing out the mustache. And I made a deal with uh, Austin Kretschmar last year. He had great... <laughs> orange afro hair right. and I wanted to see it so uh, he said I couldn't cut my mustache uh, and he wouldn't cut his hair okay so that was the deal I grew it out and it just kind of became a habit of mine I yeah. did during summer ball and I mean just kind of a baseball thing now. it's got kind of that yeah it's yeah. kind of that and for a pitcher especially a guy that holds the ball in his hand and is on the offensive yeah, yeah I kind of like it absolutely does it, does it help your persona on the on the hill uh, I mean the way I think about it is if you see a guy that doesn't really care how his facial hair looks, mm -hmm. or I mean, has long hair, you could probably be intimidated because he doesn't really care, what, doesn't care. what's going on. You know? <laughs> I yeah, I like it. I like it. Yeah. Santa Rosa, California is where you're from. Uh, how did you get, end up at William Jewell in Liberty, Missouri? Well, Dane Erbst, uh, I played with Dane Erbst. He was here last year, I think the year before that, but he he was on my summer ball team since I was like 16. Really? We were on and off teams all the way through my uh, junior college, Santa Rosa Junior College. And it just happened, like, I needed a place to play, and I was playing through the summer, and Dan's like, hey, we actually need a pitcher. Yeah. So talked to Coach Middleton. M Middleton kind of talked me into it, and part of being about a boom, I'm here. I think I committed yeah. a week before orientation or something like that. Is that right? Yeah. A cultural change for you, certainly, but how how much? I mean, it's, it's different. I mean, not that much different. It's just more... I mean, humidity was one thing I had to get used to. Oh, but, I can imagine. Once I got used to that, I didn't mind the cold at all. I mean, it's relatively similar. I mean, less water. There's less stuff to do around here, but yeah. I don't mind it. I mean, once I started playing baseball, I was back to like the normal routine and life as it usually is. Back home water, you mentioned. Are you yeah. big into that? Uh, I mean, I'll go, I'll go to the beach when I can, but I mean, the thing is, with any sport, I mean, the amount of off days we have, especially since we have summer ball, yeah. not much time to go yeah. out there, but... I love the ocean anytime I can get out there, but I also love hiking. So, I mean, there's a couple of places out here I've checked out. But. Yeah, okay, I think Midwesterners probably would say, yeah, California, yeah, hiking. Yeah, absolutely. But what's the biggest misconception that Midwesterners might have about somebody from California? I think everyone thinks you're from Los Angeles, like L.A. area. So yeah. it's like surfer, oh, you must surf, you must, like, <laughs> you must wear board shorts all the time, you know, all, like, the lingo and stuff like that. I mean, other than that. I mean, I, I can't really speak for myself because there's a lot of the stereotypes that I fit into. So, yeah, okay. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's hit and miss. I mean, not everyone is a hippie. It's it's pretty similar to, <laughs> pretty similar to here. But I mean, I uh, just a little more, I guess, closer together. There's not as much space at right. all because oh, I mean, yeah. the real estate's pretty much taken up. Yeah. So I mean, it's awesome to come out here and see tons of space out here. So I mean, that's really cool. Let's talk about baseball a little bit. The scouting report on you from the coaches, great stuff. Um, and you get a chance to make your first start this week. Difference between starting and relieving in your mind? Uh, relieving is kind of something, I mean, you kind of have a mindset going into it, like I'm going to be ready to go no matter when I'm called on. But um, you have certain routines you can run through pregame, stuff like that. But starting, you kind of have like a whole script mm -hmm. from uh, like pretty much whenever you, I, I found out like, two or three days ago so I mean I started planning out my days like my weightlifting and stuff like right. that to coordinate with that so I mean it's just much more routine based which I've actually really liked I, I've actually developed that ability to make better routines since I've gotten here so I mean starting is a lot more routine based but uh, relieving it's just awesome because I mean you can you could play pretty much every game yeah. that's, I mean that's kind of the mindset I took like I, any chance I get to the ball I, I, I take it and I just kind of go in there but I mean at the end of the day you just kind of got to go out there and throw the ball regardless right. of what inning it is. I suppose every guy would say this when I ask this question, but if you have a chance to play after college, uh, would you take that? And once that chance ends, what would you like to do next? Um, I'm definitely going to look for opportunities to play. I mean, I'm going to play until I can't anymore because, I mean, this game is amazing. Yeah. And once, I, once I'm done, I mean, I'm probably going to float around, do some coaching and stuff like that, but I really want to get my uh, psychology degree. I'm, I'm really? pretty close to it. So, I mean, i got to finish. I, wanna, I have my rec and sports one for coaching, so I want to get through there, possibly use that as a hook for for uh, get some free education for my psych degree, right? And then do something in psychology. I really like sports psychology. Sports a lot. psychology, yeah, yeah. I was going to say working with athletes in particular. Yeah, I mean, I'm on mind athletes. I just um, it's just going to be. I mean, I'm, I'm going to have that ability, so it's probably going to be like I could I could work with the team as a psychologist, which sure. is kind of like my would be a goal, yeah. uh, an ideal situation for me. Tell us quickly about your family, if you would. Uh, 
Yeah. I got I got a older brother Samir, and he graduated from San Jose State, and he's actually a, a headhunter right now in San Jose State. So no kidding. Way. Yeah. So he's doing good stuff out there. My sister Kayla is a year younger than me, and she's a huge, huge fan of baking and cooking in general. Huh? Just absolutely amazing. Wow. Yeah. And then I mean my. Parents, my uh, dad actually immigrated here from India when he was eight years old. Wow. So I have wow. a good <laughs> shift of that. And then my mom uh, grew up right around California, but kind of in like the more uh, rural areas in Utah, California. Right. So I mean, I actually grew up on a ranch for the beginning of my life, and then I moved. Wow to the urban like, street life, you know. Well, I'll tell you what, there's a bunch of stories in there. I wish we had more time to go into yeah. those, but but unfortunately we don't. Thank you, though, for coming in. Yeah, no Best problem. of uh, luck the rest of the way, and, uh, you know, it's, a, it's been good to have you here. For Appreciate sure. it. I'm, gl I'm glad that Dane uh, mentioned that we were looking for some pitch. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm glad to be here. It's it's awesome. Thank you very much. No problem. And we'll be back with more in a moment.